Hello and welcome to episode 66 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode I want to show you how you can use Apple's Notes application with Todoist. Now I know that personally I generally use Evernote for my note taking on all my devices whether it is my iPhone, my iPad or my laptop or desktop. But I know many of you out there were a little bit put off by Evernote because of their new pricing structure. And also there are some of you who don't need such a, a robust, uh, robust note-taking application. So what I wanted to do is to show you how you could actually utilize note-taking and Todoist together with a, a free easy to use note taking application. Now I know there are many note taking applications out there and I've tried many of them because one of my biggest areas was how can I take quick notes uh, on the fly and then add them into my Todoist at a later date. Now I have links that I can use in Evernote so there's no problem there but for those of you not using Evernote and those of you who have no intention of using Evernote, there is another way by using the built-in notes application into your iOS. So let's have a quick look at taking a note. Okay, so let's go into Apple's uh, note taking application and let's create a new note. And in this note say, this is a special uh, note for Todoist series. Uh, I don't know why my iPhone thinks Todoist is spelt wrong, because it isn't. So there we go, that we've now done that. Now, one of the things that you'll see is on the share sheet, I don't have my Todoist one, and uh, maybe I can add it. Uh, let's just have a look. No, I can't add the Todoist uh, share sheet. This may be something that Todoist, if you're watching, may want to add, because I noticed that OmniFocus is available, um, but not to do it. So maybe uh, to do is might want to add that as a feature. But anyway, for the purposes of this, what we can do is we can add mail. And if you remember, uh, this is something that I have suggested to people before, which is to set up your to do is uh, inbox email into your uh, contacts list. So that it's easy. So I just type in to to do is comes up and I can just click set oops, hang on, I did that forget. So um, now, in the subject, what you would need to do is add in the task. So, uh, check this note out, re-meeting, uh, for example. Um, so, I could do that. And for some reason, I can't spell re, and then just send. So, that's now going to send that email to my Todoist account. So, let's go into Todoist and have a look. Right, so that's now come into my inbox, as you can see, check this note out, re-meeting. And all I need to do now is click on the notes section, and sure enough, the note is there. This is a special note for Todoist series. Now, I have an email signature in my email, so what I would want to do, just to tidy things up, is I would uh, edit, get rid of the note, uh, sorry, get rid of the email signature, and sure enough, there I have my notes. Now, if you were to use this, say, on a tablet or on your laptop computer when you were in a meeting, and you were adding notes into the Apple Notes section, obviously this would be quite full. And so you can add whatever you want. You, obviously, for those of you who've, uh, who followed this series, knows that you can actually add uh, files, audio files, and a smiley if you want. So. Uh, this is another way of adding notes, particularly, as I say, for those people who don't want to use Evernote or don't like the Evernote's pricing structure. That's fine. I understand all that. Uh, but this is a quick and simple way for those of you using iOS notes. OK, I hope you found that interesting and I hope you found it useful. Please join me again in episode 20, uh, 67 uh, for the next episode. Uh, and apart from that, I just wish you all a very, very productive week.